So, it's been a while, it's been quite some time, but we are back with the uploads and we are back with the weekly Team of the Week predictions. So if you're happy to see this series back, make sure you leave a like rating on the video and don't forget to be active as usual in the comments down below. Let me know who you think will pick up and inform in the first week of FIFA 22. Just like last year, I will be posting my Team of the Week prediction notes in my Discord. If you want to join it, there's a link to do so in the description. So if you want to see early access for stuff like trading tips, etc., make sure you join my Discord. Once again, link in the description. Um, just one thing to note in this video, uh, because we don't have the full database of players available to us yet, uh, we don't have stats for every single player in the game, so you might see question marks next to some players' stats in this video. Just ignore that for now. Next week, obviously, we'll have the full stats and stuff like that. So, uh, yeah, let's just get into things, shall we? So, we begin with a potential inform David De Gea. He saved the penalty in the last minute of uh, Manchester United's win against West Ham, and it's literally just because of that that I think he could be thrown in to the upcoming team of the week he wasn't a particularly busy man like in like the other 90 minutes of the game but uh, just that one save that literally gave Man United the three points I think could be enough to get him in this week I also think EA will want you know a pretty solid high rated goalkeeper for the first team of the week so that's why we're going to go for David De Gea as our starting goalkeeper and on the bench, we are going to go with Bono or Bunau. He's got like two different names. I don't know which one he prefers personally. He made four saves and kept clean sheet in a nil-nil draw against Real Sociedad. He also saved the penalty in that game, which of course does um, obviously help his cause. Now we move on and it's time to talk about some defenders. And we begin with Chelsea's Thiago Silva, who scored and kept a clean sheet in their 3-0 win against uh, Tottenham. And... To be honest, like the first half of this game wasn't all that entertaining, but then in the second half, Chelsea just came out and just absolutely dominated. They really, really did. There are other options from this game. You've got Kante who scored. Well, his, his goal was very much deflected, but scored nonetheless. And you've also got Rudiger who also got a goal and a clean sheet. But with Thiago Silva getting a goal, a clean sheet, and getting man of the match, um, I really can't look past him. So I get the feeling we will be seeing him pick up an inform item on Wednesday, so uh, do look out for that one. Don't think it'll be a very usable card, just with him not being slow. I know we don't know the meta yet for FIFA 22, but with the amount of pacey centre-backs there just releasing naturally, um, I get the feeling pace at the back will once again play a key part in the game. Following on from him, we've got another centre-back who was on the score sheet. We've got John Egan, who uh, put the ball in the back of the net twice in a 3-1 win against Hull City. So uh, he certainly is an option. Didn't keep a clean sheet, but when centre-backs or defenders in general score more than once, it's uh, pretty hard to ignore them. Keeping with the theme of goal scoring defenders, I know a goal doesn't always equate to a defender getting an inform. Believe me, I'm fully aware of that. But um, Ajax won 9-0. Yeah, nine. That's uh, pretty insane. And in this game, as you can imagine, multiple goal scorers, multiple players picking up assists. And uh, because of that, I've got to consider this guy. And I also have to consider the fact that with them winning 9-0, there probably is a chance that they could have more than one player in the upcoming Team of the Week. And uh, you'll see later on in the video if I've included another Ajax player, I guess. But uh, this guy's actually got an insane-looking non-inform item. So I kind of don't want him to get the inform because I want to use his non-inform at the start of the game. And uh, obviously, if he gets the inform, that non-inform won't be in packs, but it is what it is. Um, a goal and a clean sheet, and as I said, 9-0 win. Pretty crazy, so maybe we'll get in. As I say, not super confident on this one, but I get the feeling it might be one that EA just throw in to give Ajax, you know, a bonus inform considering their large win. Garcia is the next player we are going to talk about and once again this is another one that I'm not particularly confident in but I just didn't find many La Liga options for this week so uh, I'm going to take a gamble on this guy who got a goal and kept clean sheet in a 2-0 win against Deportivo so uh, not a bad little result for his side. I want to talk about some midfielders and we begin with Joshua Kimmich who certainly could be the highest rated player in the upcoming team of the week or at least one of. Um, got himself two goals in a big 7-0 win for Bayern Munich and as you can imagine with it being a high scoring game there are multiple options from this fixture uh, Leroy Sane for, in, uh, for example got himself a goal and a assist Nabry got on the score sheet um, and Goretzka also had a pretty good game as well so definitely are other options but um, Kimmich is currently my favourite but I wouldn't be disappointed if it went to Sane instead let me know who you think deserves it in the comments below 
Next to him is Bonaventura, who got himself a goal and a assist in a 2-1 win against Genoa for Fiorentina. And uh, basically his goal was, you know, an 89th minute winner. So that's why we are going to go for him. His match rating from Gazetta wasn't particularly impressive. I believe it was just a 7, so that lowers my confidence in this pick. But the fact that he scored the match winner from midfield is pretty good. So uh, we are going to go for him. There weren't too many candidates from the league on this week, but one that I did find was Huang, who got himself two goals in a 2-1 win against St Etienne, so hopefully he can feature. Luis Diaz from Porto got on the score sheet twice in a 5-0 win, so he is also a viable candidate this week. Also worth mentioning the Porto forward, the striker whose name escapes me it's in my notes somewhere he also got two goals but uh, i'm going to opt for the winger instead just because i've got so many striker options i think they're more likely to uh, go with the midfielder and uh, talking of strikers we've got caputo who got on the score sheet twice in a 3-0 win against empoli and he also got a decent match rating from gazetta as well so that's why we have included him Leon Bailey is the next player we're going to discuss. Now, if you just look at this guy's game and you just see that he scored a goal, you'd think, yeah, probably had an all right game. He was actually brilliant in this match. Um, came on with about 30 minutes to go and literally drove Aston Villa to uh, the win. He was really, really good off the bench. Has got very good match ratings across the board. Was man of the match and, uh, yeah, obviously got the goal as well. But it's his all-round performance, which is why I'm included him in my predictions this week. And this kind of inform in Team of the Week 1, I think would be pretty expensive at the start of the game. So uh, definitely one to look out for, and I certainly wouldn't mind packing it in the first week either. The senior could also be in team of the week number one. Now, this guy's face I have seen a lot in the past week. Well, the previous week with the 85 plus packs on FIFA 21. Um, obviously, he had that team of the season card, which... You know, was just everywhere and re regularly getting put back into SBCs. But anyway, um, goal and a assist and man of the match in a 2-1 win for him. So where uh, he could be starting FIFA 22 off with a bang. So uh, we'll obviously have to see what happens with that. And then we move on to a pretty pacey card, or at least a card which should be very pacey. I haven't actually seen any stats for Sa uh, Sa across any websites. Maybe they're out already. If they are, let me know in the comments. But um, I'm going to imagine he's still going to have a very quick card. He scored twice in a 3-1 win for Watford against Norwich. Big three points for Watford as well. So uh, I can't see him being ignored this week. Although there are quite a few options from the Premier League. So uh, I guess something's got to give with some of them. We've now got a few hat-tricks to discuss. We've got Vieira, who uh, obviously got a hat trick in a 3-0 win. Uh, Tegot got a hat trick in a 3-1 win. And then on the end, we have this Argentinian forward who got himself three goals and a assist in a 4-1 win. So so uh, it'd be pretty harsh if uh, EA decided to ignore any of them. So uh, get the feeling they'll feature on the bench um, or potentially the reserves depending on ratings. So uh, yeah, look out for them when you're opening all your starter packs because these are probably the informs that you're very likely to be packing. Next player we're going to talk about is a bit of an odd one. Now, he's never had a card in Ultimate Team before, but I can only assume he will be in the upcoming FIFA. It's Javier Lopez of uh, San Jose Earthquakes. Now, on the 16th, so on Thursday, he got himself a hat-trick in a 4-3 loss against Real Salt Lake. But then, um, literally today, he got himself another two goals in a 4-3 win against Austin FC. So... Like five goals in the past two games, that's pretty hard to ignore, so we are going to include him. As I say, wasn't in FIFA 21 to my knowledge, unless he was under a different name, but um, should, in theory, be in FIFA 22, so therefore should be eligible to get a card on Wednesday. This is the problem with EA not releasing the full database, so I could just get this pick completely wrong if he's just not in the game, but we're going to go for it nonetheless because I believe if he is in the game, he should pick up an inform this week. I still don't know how this guy didn't get a future stars in last year's FIFA, but I get the feeling he will this year. Um, Vert's got himself a goal and a assist in a 2-1 win against Stuttgart. Um, literally has just come in and replaced Kai Havertz at Bayer Leverkusen, and he's done it very, very well. So uh, hopefully we'll pick up an inform this week. Now, three players we're going to talk about are all actually pretty good. We begin with David Neres, who, uh, like I said earlier, Ajax won 9-0, and Neres was one of the standout players in that game. Two goals and eight assists for him, so uh, I think he's got a very good shot at making it in this week. There are obviously other options from Ajax. We've already discussed one of them at the start of the video, but there's also Tadic, and to be honest, the whole squad is an option because yeah 9-0 pretty insane so uh yeah we'll definitely see one ix player it's a case of whether or not we'll see more than one but um i feel like neres is probably the most likely one out of all of them it's just a case of which of one will ea go for if they do do another one 
Anywho, we move on to a potential inform Latura Martinez. Inter Milan won 6 1 against Bologna, and in this game, there are actual multiple options. You've got Zeka, who scored twice. You've got Brozovic, who got an assist. You've got Dumfries, Skirina, and Demarca, who all got good match ratings. But the player who actually got the best match rating in this game was Latura Martinez, who got an 8 from Gazetta, which, if you know how ratings work on that website, an 8 is a very, very good score. And that's why I'm opting for Martinez with one goal over Zeka, who got two. So uh, let's see what happens with that one. Anyway, we end this week with a potential inform Haaland. Now, I'm very on the fence with this one. I really, really am. With Haaland obviously being, you know, a pretty big player in the world of football right now, I don't know if EA want to give him an inform straight away, especially with him having such a high, highly rated boost for FIFA 22. Maybe they want his non-informed to be in packs. I don't know, but maybe they'll go for the inform to sell some packs also. I'm on the fence, I really am. Anyway, two goals in a 4-2 win against Union Berlin. One of the goals was a brilliant lob of the keeper as well. So for that reason, we are going to go for him. Let's kick things off in Team of the Week with a bang. Let's have some pretty good players in it. That's hopefully how EA will do it. So uh, yeah, let me know your thoughts. Do you think Haaland will get in to the upcoming Team of the Week? Or will it be a case of two goals just isn't enough at this stage for Haaland? He'll need a hat-trick to pick up his first in form. We'll obviously have to wait and see uh, how strict he are or how lenient EAR with their picks this year. Well, that was going to be the final player in my predictions, but right at the very end, we have a late addition. Vinicius Junior has got himself a goal and a assist in Real Madrid's 2-1 win against Valencia. His goal came in the 86th minute, and then his assist came in the 88th minute for Benzema. So, uh, yeah, he's pretty much turned the game around for Real Madrid in the final few minutes, and that is why we have included him in my predictions today, and that's why he's got a good shot at getting in form in the upcoming team team of the week and that will be a pretty hyped in form for our week one it really really will so uh look out for that one so that's going to do it for my predictions for fifa 22 team of the week number one let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below let me know who you feel i have missed out i know i'm going to get a lot of comments about ivan tony but i don't think he'll quite get into this week's because of all the other premier league options but uh he obviously is a viable candidate there is also a bunch of other players definitely worthy and they've all been listed in my team of the week notes in my discord so if you haven't joined it yet make sure you do so. I'd obviously love to see a Matt in Odegaard in form this week for his uh, free kick against um, Burnley, but uh, I don't quite think it'll happen just yet. Also, other options, you've got Liverpool players like Salah and Van, uh, Van Dijk, but uh, I don't think either of them will get in just yet. But uh, nonetheless, I'm rambling. As I say, if you want to see the notes, they'll be in my Discord. Thanks for watching, as always, and as always, I'll catch you in the next one.